Hey guys, welcome to the next chapter. This chapter is titled The Finer Balances. And I'll explain a little bit why I feel this is an important chapter to include and why I included it in the empowerment section. Because the next empowerment course, Empowerment 3, will be quite powerful in terms of its manifestation capacities. It's really about shifting instantly into alternate realities and using confident vibrational um, tools as a way to sort of change your space-time reality very rapidly. Now, I don't want you to go and do that if you do not have the finer balances understood. So that's why I made the first, the first chapter of the Enlightenment course mandatory in the beginning and now um, include this chapter before we go on to the next course. As you know, I have two paths that I teach. It's that of self-realization and self-actualization. Now, some of you might think that you are only interested in self-empowerment or self-actualization, and perhaps you've not done any of the other courses except for the introduction stage. And that's all fine and well. I still highly recommend going through all the courses because they will add so much more to your ability to be empowered and stay empowered and expand your empowerment. Because without a depth of understanding who you are, what you are, what is true and what's not true, it's really hard to continue to expand your empowerment and your acceleration and maintain that. That's why these two paths, in my experience and opinion, work hand in hand and need to both be understood and taught and learned. So again, step-by-step -step process. Um, I've laid it all out. It's quite simple. If you just follow it, I do recommend that you also take the Enlightenment courses and when you feel ready, the Infinity course. So this chapter is sort of where empowerment starts to sort of blend in with the awareness teachings, etc. Because this is more of a, um, this chapter will be more of a step back in terms of actively trying to manifest your life or attract your dream life. And this is more about gaining a deeper awareness, gaining a deeper understanding of the purpose behind your life, seeing the bigger picture of why you are here and why you even want the things that you truly are inspired to desire. So I'm starting off with this lesson, which is titled Being of Service to the One. Obviously, as you already know, because you've gone through this course and I've explained this in previous lessons, the one is the source of all that there is. The infinite one is the originator. It's the enabler of all that there is. It is where all consciousness, where all free agency comes from. It's the free agency that then creates love and then light to make manifestation happen as we know it today. And in so many other ways that we don't know it today because of our limited view of all that there is. So in essence, every single human being and every other creature and every manifestation of this unity, free awareness, love, light is automatically, naturally of service to the one. Because manifestation, again, is the reflection, it's the expression of the one infinite unity. So from its original state of infinite unity, beyond even knowingness, beyond even consciousness, it generated consciousness for the purpose of expressing and reflecting upon its infinite nature. And so by the very fact that you are created, that you exist, and that you will always exist because you are created from a timeless state of existence, you are, by that very definition, by the nature of how you are created, you are of service to the one. You can't really go wrong. To start with, I want you to know that there is no failure or success from an absolute point of view. From the absolute point of view, the simple fact that you exist and have another experience after another experience after another experience, which you can't stop is constantly the one reflecting upon itself in the form of you. So as misguided as some people out there are, from an absolute point of view, okay, they are still being of service to the one, to infinity, because they're still adding new ways of exploring relationship from the one's manifestation to other points of view of the one's manifestation. So it's connecting new dots that have never been fully connected before in that particular way or order or timeline experience. So every experiential being and even 
Well, there is no non-experiential being. I was going to say like even inanimate objects, or as we call them inanimate objects, but those are fully experiential beings as well. It's on a completely different level in a very different way. Nevertheless, everything is experiential beingness. And so everything literally by the fact that it is, by the fact that it appears, by the fact that it is, is of service to the one, is a way for the one to know and reflect upon itself and express its infinite infinity, its infinite possibilities, its unity, its infinite capacity for experience, for everythingness. So by the fact that you exist, you are of service to the one. Again, it's important to know that so that you sort of take the edge off of yourself a little bit and don't try to become too successful spiritually because you are meant to experience limitation, delusion, and flaw while being human. It is built into this density. There is a veil of forgetfulness that is very present in third density. Now we're starting to move out of it as a collective species and some individuals are spearheading this and are already out of that bubble a little bit more than most other people at this time. So they can see a little bit more clearly, they can remember a little bit more clearly the more deeper aspects of their consciousness and their identity and why they are here and how the universe works. Nevertheless, regardless of where you're at in the process, it's not meant to be a perfect, flawless journey. It's meant to be an invitational, filled with beautiful catalyst type of journey. And that's what this is. That's what this human experience is for. It's for intensified, concentrated, catalytic experience so that we can expand and grow and reflect upon the one infinite creator and wake up to our free will to then become truly free spiritual beings that can navigate the universe much more freely and deliberately. That's what this human life is designed for. That's what the third density evolutionary cycle is most apt at performing. That is its function to perform, so to speak. So it's not meant to be a perfect ride. You're not meant to arrive at some perfect spiritual state. You're just meant to continuously desire and strive without the negative aspect of striving, but just strive, like desire, be passionate, be inspirational about becoming ever more true to who you truly are, becoming an ever more true servant of and to the one infinite creator in your unique, desirous, passionate, inspirational, empowering way. So always maintain this balanced view that it's not just about you as a person getting what you want. Of course, that's very appealing to many people. And I know you guys have already matured past that point. Otherwise, you wouldn't even be at this chapter. So it's kind of redundant almost to say. But just as a, another reminder before we open up Pandora's box in the next course, uh, Empowerment 3, I want you to humble yourself during this chapter and find true peace, find true openness, find true knowledge in the reflection or in the understanding or in the contemplation or in the meditation upon the fact that you are in fact a servant created by or enabled by the creator. You are a free agent and that it is your duty and honor and deepest joy to be of service to the one by becoming this unique expression, by becoming this inspirational expression of who you truly are and why you are here. Nevertheless, everything that you do, even if you completely ignore everything that I've ever told you, even if you complete everything you know about spiritual awareness and waking up and accelerating and paying attention, even if you were to not pay any attention whatsoever, I want you to know you're still perfectly loved and you're still a perfect vessel of expressing the one infinite creator in a unique way to itself. Nevertheless, you can speed up the evolutionary cycle that you are a part of in your own journey and you can make more efficient use of catalyst and you can find much greater joy and bliss in your individuated expression of the one if you follow these steps and you do pay attention and you learn. That's what we're here to do. We are here to learn. What are we here to learn? We are here most of all, most relevantly at this time at our planet, we're here to learn greater love, greater openness, greater connectedness to all that there is. We're reflecting on a collective scale. We're reflecting back to the one infinite creator, one of its infinite potential realities, which right now happens to be going from a collective state of lack and limitation and separation to a collective state of love, joy, peace, clarity, enlightenment and connection. And you are a part of that expression. You are a part of that collective evolutionary cycle. 
feel that you have some honor, some duty, some joy in contributing to this, in contributing consciously and paying your respects consciously to the fact that everything is only because the one infinite creator is and lets it be here. If you pay that respect, if you are humble in that way, it takes the edge off of this sense of a separate self that needs to achieve something and it allows you to find peace inside of that humility. It allows you to feel greatly empowered because of your humility and openness. The homework that I want you to start with for this chapter is meditation. So find some time today or tomorrow, or at least before you continue with the next lesson. And I want you to quiet yourself by just relaxing and recognizing that you're already awake, that you're already present, that you're already aware. And by recognizing that a few times repeatedly, you will find that the mind slows down its spinning and its distractions naturally, simply by recognizing, not forcing it, but recognizing that you're already present. Ah. Take a deep breath, relax the body, slowly breathe out. And notice that we're all already here, that we are already present, that we are already wide awake and conscious. And by naturally recognizing this awareness that's already present, we are then entering a very natural state of contemplative awareness or meditation, or in a sense, the inward reflective attitude. So I want you to meditate in this way, in this effortless fashion. And again, the courses in enlightenment can help you to, over time, make this even more natural, make this even more awake, make this even more vibrant and clear and transparent to the one infinite creator. But simply, ease your way into this and as your mind starts to relax and as the clarity of awareness recognizing itself consciousness waking up to the fact that it is conscious presence waking up to the fact that it is present you becoming aware of your innermost sense of i exist through natural recognition of that existential fact you feel the slowing down, you feel the opening up and the speeding up at the same time, vibrationally you're speeding up, even though the mind seems to be less distracted and maybe slow down. So as you're expanding like this, I want you to meditate or imagine your version of seeing yourself as created by the one infinite creator or unity, the one. I want you to see yourself as the desired expression, the one desiring you, the one infinite creator that is more all encompassing than all that there is. And this enabler, this source of everything that could ever possibly be, see that it desired you into existence and that it is in a sense your honor and your duty and your responsibility, but also simultaneously your joy and your passion and your bliss to really honor with integrity, honor that connection and honor that being of service by being a unique expression of what's possible. And just sit with this in your own way and feel a deep, profound, loving connection to your infinite one self creator. Feel greatly cleared out and emptied out and humbled and yet empowered at the same time by the love and the light of the one infinite being that created all that there is. Feel empowered and honored and see how important you are to the expansion of the one's reflection of itself. And just feel that. Feel the value of it. Even though you're humbled, at the same time you feel also that it's highly valuable and that it should be honored with great importance. Your life should be treated as a very, very important piece of art. It should be treated as if it is, because it is, the one infinite creator itself. So feel that simultaneity of humility and yet empowerment and a sense of honor, duty and responsibility towards taking your life sincerely to heart and doing your very best always while knowing that you're unconditionally loved no matter what you choose 
to do or no matter how you choose to do it or no matter how conscious you are or not are of certain things that you are choosing. You are unconditionally basked, you're unconditionally desired into existence by the one infinite creator. You are a free agent of the one. Sit with this in a state of calmness, in a state of openness for about 20 minutes and see what happens. Feel that love, feel that opening up, feel that expansion, feel that clarity of connecting to your source. And I'll see you in the next lesson.